no one likes a dirty car, and so we're going to show you how to transform your car from well, looking lived in like this to making it gleam like it's just come out of the showroom. Auto Express magazine's car care expert Henry Willis will guide us through the five key steps to make your car shine like new. Applying shampoo, scrubbing the wheels, waxing the paintwork, cleaning the cabin and polishing the glass. So then Henry, let's start at the beginning, applying the shampoo. This car is, well, if you look at it, needs a good clean. Yeah, but what you want to do first is get rid of any stubborn tar stains or bugs with something like this bug spray. Just spray it on and leave it for a bit before you start shampooing. It means you won't have to rub too hard when you're working the shampoo. Okay, so now we're going to start shampooing, but what exactly are we going to use? I'm guessing not normal household detergent. That's right. Something like a washing up liquid contains a powerful degreaser that can strip the wax off the bodywork. You need a proper car shampoo, like this Armour All Heavy Duty Car Wash. It's tough and grime, and it's got a special formula which removes bug and tar stains. It's also ideal if you don't have access to hot water, because it can be used with cold water too. To use it, pour a small amount of heavy duty car wash into the bucket first. Then fill it with the hose to get a good head of foam. And before you wash the car, give it a spray down with the hose to remove any loose dirt. So come on then, Henry, tell me, what is the best way to apply the soap? What you want to do is start on the top and work your way down. Apply it in small spots so you don't miss anything. Now, I notice we're not using normal sponges here. We've got these instead, and so, so why is that? You can use a sponge, but these microfiber wash mitts are easier to control. They can also hold more water, so they clean more thoroughly, and they lift dirt off rather than swirl it around. Before you dip the mitt back into the soapy bucket, make sure you rinse it off first with the hose to remove any grime. You don't want to make your clean water dirty. Once you've washed one section of the car, hose it down and start on the next, breaking the car into roof, the bonnet, the boot, and then the sides. Okay, so the car's clean, so now we need to dry it, right? Yeah, but it'll be quicker with this silicone flexi blade than it would be with a traditional chamois. Once again, start at the roof and work your way down. The blade can get the majority of the water off in one swipe as it moulds its shape to the car's bodywork. However, you may still need to use a chamois to get into the hard to reach places. So that's the car washed and dried, and already it looks a lot better.